Good morning tubers. I have woken up to some red flashy lights on my long mons. And it seems uh, that inverter is drawing 520 watts. And the same as that one. Pressy button, that's doing about 200 watts. And we have a small problem by the look of it. We got cell there, what's that? Cell 55, which is down there. And we've got cell, what's that? Three, which is over here, because this is number one, two, three, and so on and so forth. So we've got two batteries that are absolutely dead flat. And of course, that is because that is drawing a couple of uh, 650 watts or something constantly. So it's absolutely smashing my batteries. So I might have to, maybe this whole battery hashing thing isn't a good idea. And maybe I have to rethink the way I'm doing things. And I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, it hasn't been wonderful days. Uh, the overcast days, I've had about three or four days like this. So it's, it's had a hard time, but you know, I would have thought it would have lasted maybe a little bit longer than that. Um, we've taken out 500 amp hours out of the batteries. Uh, so that's, that's a considerable amount of power. For anybody and the spread is more than one volt oh just less than one volt so between the cells so I'm going to have to go through and shut that down turn that back to grid um, I do have a screen capture of that I'll add that later after this video uh, just go to watch power now I haven't I've got this set up I think I thought that was set up at 50 that's still 50 volts. So I just have a look at the setup configuration here. Back to, oh, a back to grid voltage is set at 48 volts. So that'll be why that hasn't gone back to grid yet. I might actually change that to 50 volts um, until I go through and um, change out those cells. Okay, that click there just means it went back to grid. Now the unfortunate thing about that is it turns my mining rig off every time it goes from grid back to battery or battery back to grid. It never did that when it only had the one pip inverter, only when the two. And I believe that's from um, someone described it to me the other day as the two inverters have to go back to grid at exactly the same time. So it takes a little bit longer or something to sort that out. Um, the on and the off again and whatever else. I, I, I don't understand how that works, but apparently that's why it, why it does that. Um, to, date, to date, it hasn't hurt the rig yet. I've got a really good power supply in it. I was going to put a UPS on it, um, but it's Linux, so there's no hard drive or anything on there, so it might stuff a USB stick, I guess, in the long run. I don't know. Um, it, it can't be good for it, but it's not, it's not the end of the world, I guess. Uh, that is that rig there is actually making me about 300 bucks a month because I don't pay pay for power except for right now where it's actually drawing from the grid which is ironic isn't it it's supposed to be battery powered but it's not at the moment so you can hear it starting to ramp back up again I don't have to touch it at this turn it only go it only stops the miners like the video cards it doesn't stop the it doesn't actually turn it off and reboot it it just stops mining and starts mining again so who knows anyway tubers that's a little bit of a quick update I haven't had much for you lately um, how many of you out there have changed your Batrium to, what is it, version 30? Or 1.0.0.30 or whatever it is. Um, and, and got your kilowatt hours displayed. So how much charge in and charge out. You got the kilowatt hours there, that's a pretty neat feature. So, why is that charging at 30 amps? That's not right. We haven't got 30 amps worth of solar coming in. We have got 200 watts there. Load is a thousand watts on that one. So the house is using a thousand watts. Why is that one charging? I one's saying that one's charging from the grid. That doesn't make any sense. Right, Eric, where is my multimeter, my clamp on thing?
Righty, I really need some more light in here. So I've got a little SJ camera stuck to the roof, so hopefully this is an all right angle and you're not looking at the back of my head. Um, so that's, that's charging at 35 amps. Now this is the reason why I got this sort of a tool. I uh, need, really need more light. AC, DC. Right. Okay, so that has got arrows there. Someone said there's arrows. Oh, look at that. There's directional arrows on the side of it. Okay, so that going that way. So that's putting 31 amps into the batteries. Okay, is it one of the inverters that's doing it? I'll put it on the right way. Okay, so that inverter is doing 31 amps. That inverter is doing nothing. So why is that inverter charging the batteries when that one is not? Maybe I need solar hooked up to this one as well? Because I've only got solar hooked up to this one. Yeah, so if we go back to parallel I'm pretty sure you can't configure them separately. Max charging current, 30 amps. Uh, charge source priority, utility and solar. Solar only, apply. Okay, close. Minimize that down and now we're back to two amps. So that was a configuration issue on my behalf. I really don't want to be charging the batteries from the grid so that was sorted easily. Um, let that charge back up again. I'll, um, I'll change these two cells out today or tomorrow. Upgrade them. And that's what I've been doing because I don't really have the space in here. I've just been up that, upgrading the lower cells as you've seen it several times before. So you just keep upgrading the lower ones until you bring the whole pack quality up. Um, I also had to take a bit of wood off of this wall here, unfortunately, because with the inverter there, there's not enough room to put the um, put the put the batteries there, which I really wanted to do, really wanted to do. Uh, and I've also added a little fan up the top there, so it just pumps some of the hot air out, and it does a fantastic job. I mean, even though I've got the four fans down the bottom, I've got two there and two down there. Uh, that just that one fan alone up the top, geez, it rips some air out. Um, and you've still got all these holes here as well, so it's the shed is cooling a lot better, even with that pumping out some heat. Anyway, tubers, that's an update. Thanks for hanging around. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.